What's going on guys, my name is Consider and today we are in main assembly. So the developers of this game sent me a code a little while back and uh, it looks quite interesting. There's a lot of things you can do in this game that you can't really do in other building games because of really some of the features it has. But uh, anyway, I've got my little robot character here. He's dressed for the occasion because of course the first thing I did in this game was make a common turismo. So here it is, it's a... <laughs> It's it's a li it's a little shambles. It does have some nifty features. For example, it has some headlights. Uh, they work. It's got brake lights. They work. My personal favorite feature is the uh, pop up headlights <laughs> that actually work. We have a commentary with working pop up headlights. I absolutely love it. So obviously, it's it's not it's not the best. It's not the best rendition. Uh, there is a little difficulty working with the actual you know vehicle editor in this game. It's not the most intuitive. But, uh, but yeah, the purpose of this video is to mess around with some of the more advanced features in this game. So we have the common turismo here as a base, but I want to add a lot more features to it. And this game lets you add a lot. Like, see that right there? It goes around the corner too fast and it tips over. That's, that's not good. What if, what if we added an air brake, for example, to, to the right side of the car so that when it goes around the corner, it has some downforce there and doesn't tip. See, that's kind of a terrible solution to that problem, <laughs> but uh, that's the kind of stuff I want to do today. I want to see how ridiculous we can make a common turismo. Just load it with features that it has no business having and uh, see exactly how it turns out. This is our little editor here. You can just kind of, you know, move stuff, add features there. Obviously, I don't want to do that. We already have the body in pretty good shape, but uh, there's a lot. Of features uh, we can add weapons to it if we wanted to I don't really want to do that today that's not really what I'm thinking of doing but I want to see about adding an air brake just for the corners see that would that's that's what I'm thinking we'll do first and then uh, from there see what else we can add if we go to programming mode here you can see you can put quite a bit of stuff on here I didn't mean to click out of that um, but yeah there's all sorts of different logic gates and things you can use to Put the car together so like I have the uh, this right here this rotate that's for the pop-ups this is for the headlights this is for the other stuff that's our horn right there we have our power our handbrake our steering uh, this is just to link up the tail lights to that but yeah I want to add an air brake so let's see about adding an air brake shall we all right so I I'm really not entirely sure how to go about this I'm thinking I'm thinking a hinge but then again I'm not exactly sure if this is this is the right move. I can tell you right now, this is this is this is going to end poorly. Okay, let's add it towards the back. This is probably gonna have some negative reactions. <laughs> okay, that's our that's our air brake there. So let's go ahead and make it so that it opens up 90 degrees and then it locks itself at zero, but we'll go ahead and start it at zero as well. Okay, so that's our basic air brake. And now from there, I'm gonna need uh, something to use as an actual brake. What a plastic plate! That should that should do the trick. Let's get uh, let's get that on there. Let's stretch it out a little bit. I don't know if that's gonna be quite enough. Boom! 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 All I want to do is make this potentially a little longer and make this get a little more downforce by pulling that out a little bit more. That's good. That's, this is probably just gonna cause it to flip more somehow. All right, let's see if this helped the flipping issue at all. I'm hoping a little bit, maybe. Okay, actually, that did help. Look at that, it's not flipping. It's not flipping at all. Wow, that actually, that actually helps. Oh, I don't, I'm not sure what happened there. We actually achieved some lift off and now our little common trees is hurting a little bit. Uh-oh, <laughs> it's stuck. Okay, let's try this. This is this is not gonna work well either. Let's try a spoiler with adjustable downforce. Okay, so theoretically, as this continues to drive, that should go up. It is definitely not doing that. Oh wait, I didn't connect that. I I'm stupid. Okay, so as it goes, okay, that comes up way too fast. That's like instantaneous, why is it so fast? Okay, now the car barely moves. I've done something and I don't know what it was. I thought I gave it more power and more acceleration and now it's just one million times worse. Also, what happened to our bumpers and our headlights? Things have gone horribly wrong and I don't know why. I might have to resort to some alternative methods 
to make it go fast because now it's just really not fast and I don't know why it sucks now whatever let's move on to a new project shall we something even more complicated because clearly that's what I need what if I tried to make an automated braking system I'm sure that could only go horribly you know I, I am thinking I'm gonna need some alternative methods of propulsion since for some reason it's gotten so horrendously slow we'll just we'll just put them there yeah that that should be good that should be good there we go <laughs> now we have speed again unfortunately that's the only time we do have any speed and otherwise it's just a golf cart oh this is terrible where's my bumper don't eat my bumper again so what I want to do is I want to use that proximity sensor if it hits something set off this emergency beacon to let us know that we've crashed that seems like a useful <laughs> feature Okay, you know what else? We're just gonna put a giant speaker down here as well. Distance. Uh, if this, if it sees something, play the speaker. Now we should be made very aware if there's anything nearby. Yeah, see that means there's a wall. The important question though is, can it stop itself on its own? So let's try with this cone right here, okay? Let's just try this. Let's just, we're gonna gently roll up. Let's see. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tap the thrusters. <laughs> it does stop itself. It's just if it's going any faster than that, it's a little close. I mean, for a normal common turismo like this, if it's driving at normal common turismo speeds, that's plenty of time. It can it can stop. It's got no issue at all. It's 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 a bit brilliant. Look at his face. He gets so happy. Uh oh. No, I didn't mean to start a GP course. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Have you seen this car? It barely even runs. Let's try this. Let's do a lap here. Three, two, one, just launch. And then skip. Uh-oh. We'll hit something eventually that will turn us over. Um, John, turn over. It's very disappointing. Uh... <laughs> it's so stupid! The funny thing is one of the best ways to brake in this car is by flooring it forward. Because then the air brake comes up. And it gives you downforce. <laughs> My gosh. This thing is so bad! This is gonna be- uh oh, no why is it turning like that? Boy, is it a good thing I installed those safety features. No, why did it do that? <laughs> come on, come on. There we go. We did it. Oh yeah, look at that glorious common turismo. It really flies, wow. Wow, that just, that just crumbled. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more of this game. It's a little complicated, but I think I think with time, you can get the hang of it. And uh, there's definitely a lot you can do in this game. It could be quite interesting to see what combinations and stuff that you can actually get with it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next one.